Okay, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've missed y'all. I hope you missed me. If not, but no, I'm joking. It's been a while. I apologize that it's been so long since I've done anything, any shorts, any videos. Now, I did do a short that I made a joke about my um, last few days or how I went about quitting uh, or how things went down about me quitting at Walmart. So we're here to talk about that. Now, before we move on, I don't care what anybody says, fucking Walmart is still, to this day, in my opinion, the greatest fucking supermarket of all time. Grocery store, whatever, okay? I don't care about Target, I don't care about your fucking, you know, wholesale foods market, whatever the fuck that thing's called. I don't care about your Woods, Woody's, Woods uh, supermarket. I don't care about, um, I don't even know what's a, a Sam's Club, you know, Sam's Club is great, okay? Sam's Club and Walmart are basically the same thing in a sense they're i think they're by the same company some shit like that so but overall walmart my experience working at walmart now here's the thing okay walmart this story has two parts to it okay because i was working first at maintenance for six months and then i was working at ogp for six months okay now maintenance at walmart let me just put it very simple it was very chill until the very end okay things hit the fan about, oh uh, man, I want to say like right after or right before I hit six months. And once I hit six months, I told the HR lady, you got to get me the fuck out of here, okay? Now, before we get to that situation, okay, let's talk about a little bit, a little bit, not too much, because really it's not that big of a deal, okay? The experience over there wasn't too like interesting or crazy or something like that. There wasn't anything too insane in there, okay? Every once in a while, there's like a... Uh, uh, maybe, uh, oh, there was once, okay, there was a dude that was just out of his fucking mind, he was drunk, and he went over to the alcohol section of Walmart. Now, this Walmart in particular that I was working at had such an amazing, an amazing, a, an alcoholic's dream, you know, of, uh, uh, well, maybe not alcoholic's dream, but, you know, here's the thing, for me, it was a dream, because I had a a variety of fucking liquor there, okay? It had whiskey, it had wine, it had champagne. It had uh, three aisles worth of alcohol, okay? So that's why I really love this Walmart a lot, okay? Now, would I ever go back to it? I would, but unfortunately right now, I can't because I quit instead of putting my two weeks notice. So it is what it is. Now, this guy that we were talking about today, uh, this was during my time in maintenance. And... One day, this dude showed up drunk as hell. He started popping open the fucking, you know, uh, cases of beer. He started drinking them one right after the motherfucking other. And then I had a fucking coach and I had a team lead and I didn't have them. But like they were, you know, running around the store looking for this guy because he got up from where he was sitting at and he was walking all over the fucking store. The dude was just out of his fucking mind and he was just basically stealing beer. Now... <clears throat> it just it didn't take long for us to never find him it, it took only like maybe i want to say like um maybe 10 minutes or so like 10 minutes we realized you know he was already out the store by the time you know we made the call and this dude was just you know now since we were maintenance now we don't have a lot of being able to do with any of those situations however in this case they really wanted us to do something about it um as a matter of fact i think the coach i was starting to follow uh somebody that looked like him and i seen him a few times by the way too he was wearing like a brown shirt a skinny a skinny white dude um i think maybe like brown or blonde hair i think he had uh but i think he was homeless by the way too he was just it, it really shitty shitty situation that the poor guy was in um but except i mean walmart's gonna be walmart million billion dollar fucking corporation is gonna be tripping about you know some beers but it is what it is you know i don't blame them but come on just a few beers but uh i remember uh one of one of the coaches that was on that uh on that situation um he ended up seeing somebody that mm, that resembled the person but it wasn't the person though uh once i heard on the walkie what they were describing i was already too late it was the guy had already basically you know um walked away from me and i didn't know at the time that it was the guy you know it, it was fucked you know so coach this coach comes in you know fucking sees that it's not him you know he thought it was him but it wasn't um 
and team lead over there you know he's trying to track him down as well but we're not finding this guy he was already gone when i saw him it was already too late by that point he was already basically walking out the door uh but he was walking down like the clothing aisle and this and that but it was already too late fucking we didn't even know who it was until like five minutes after i didn't see this guy anymore so it is what it is but going back to the start my very first day on the job okay one thing about the hiring process with walmart it took kind of forever okay you kind of almost need somebody to be there in order to reference you and to make it easier for the hiring process in which i did my cousin was there for a little bit it just still took a while to even get in there for him it took a while for my cousin to get back to get into walmart it took a while for some reason it just took fucking forever man um the hr lady was not necessarily the most like active about things like that but the first day on the job okay maintenance now i'm gonna call my trainee or not my trainee my trainer um vest okay now vest he's like a 40 year old maybe mid 40s something like that dude looks way older than what he actually is okay he's chill but he's a part of the problem though at the very end on the first day on the job um i get immediately put onto the fucking bathrooms okay the bathroom wasn't too bad like all the bathrooms and this is uh break room bathrooms uh back of the store bathrooms um fucking uh what is it automotive bathroom front of uh store bathrooms and uh the family restroom as well and also eventually the um oh what was it the breastfeeding room okay um now if you don't know what that is i mean it's pretty obvious it's where women can go in there with the babies and breastfeed in there privately without having to do it in the public i've seen that quite a few times and i told them like ma'am there's a room right there. Now, like I said, first day on the job, I get put on bathrooms instantly. This dude doesn't help me for shit on the first day on the job. Now, I actually respect that a little bit, but it definitely sucks because by the time I was uh, in the car, I was just dead tired. I, I had no fucking uh, motivation to do anything else for the rest of the day. And I just, you know, I, I took a shower real quick. Uh, no, actually, I did not take a shower. I just went to bed and um, that was about it. I ate went to bed I, I literally just laid down in bed and then fucking 30 minutes later was knocked out uh, i had no motivation to do anything for the rest of the day it was just such a shitty shitty start to uh maintenance at walmart but the following day i finally meet dennis now dennis i'll use his real name because he's an og and he's a fucking badass when it came to maintenance me and him working together and me and him being the same age group was badass but me and him being on the same age group uh really helped because every once in a while vest and we'll call the other guy old red old red he starts becoming a problem eventually now before i move on to that situation overall the experience of working maintenance every once in a while like i mentioned the situation from earlier you get a guy stealing sometimes you know uh management will ask hey can you help us find this guy every once in a while but you know it, it never really happened too often you know just cleaning up around the store nothing too hard cleaning up spills customers being fucking stupid and not being able to you know just hold things and then dropping shit now i'm not gonna say i haven't been you know a problem for that part but i was a problem eventually ojp having buttery fingers and dropping shit over and over again um going outside collecting trash now i will say this this is probably bad to say on camera but because i kind of one one day probably want to go back to walmart however while doing trash outside of the store twice a week me and dennis would go out there because we had two buddies um that were car pushers and we decided to go outside every once in a while um and what i mean by every once in a while every monday and friday because that's when all four of us were there so every monday and friday we go out there do trash me and dennis and we go hide in the fucking uh the cart shed all right behind it so the cameras wouldn't see and um we just go and talk and shit like that we go out there and chill and um there was no none of us vaped or anything that I smoked but we didn't really want to risk anything more than just being there for a while now dennis eventually left and me and dennis when we were together uh working at walmart sounded so fucking weird while we were working uh in maintenance when we went outside Dennis was a little bit more on track than I was he definitely was like no let's just go ahead and continue on working you know um we chat for like 30 minutes with the other two dudes but when he left I will admit I hung out with those other dudes for about like a good hour hour and a half so if Dennis if you're watching this I apologize but I mean life got boring after you left so I decided to go and uh chill with those dudes for like a whole hour and I never got in trouble for that never okay um 
but outside of um collecting trash outside um throughout the week there'd be some other tasks like going to collect trash from where the uh, like the cardboard bales were at uh the plastic bales and shit like that that wasn't too hard that was all on me by the way no one else really wanted to do that um i like i like doing it because dennis wasn't there on tuesdays and that's when it happened uh let me see uh, obviously nasty bathroom situations i remember one time i really wanted to send this to dennis i already had his discord at that at this moment but i really wanted to send him a picture of a woman that had just used the bathroom and i don't know if it was her exactly i don't know but um I had to go in and clean up the women's restroom and there was just one lady. I don't know how the fuck she did it. There was this one woman that went in there and if you like Chipotle, I'm about to ruin that shit for you. She laid down the biggest fucking log I have ever seen. And I mean ever seen in my entire fucking life. And I, I'm not even joking. It was literally the size of a fucking like um, probably the biggest burrito that you can make. At fucking Chipotle. That's how big that motherfucker was. And I'm talking like. Um, the way that it looked. It looked like a whole wooden fucking piece. Fell out of her ass. Or something like that. Like it almost like. Um, oh, I don't even know. It was just insanely. It was insanely fucking large. It was just ridiculous. I'm like. I'm surprised there was no blood on this fucking dookie. I'm surprised there was no. Fucking like scarring or anything like that. From that shit. It was insane. Uh, and I really wanted to take a picture of it because I was just so impressed. I was more impressed than disgusted. And this person couldn't get it to go down the fucking toilet whatsoever. It was that massive. They couldn't fucking do it. I wanted to so badly send it, uh, send a picture of this fucking ginormous turd to fucking Dennis. And I apologize to Dennis because I never sent it. But I know he... I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm pretty sure he... I don't know. I don't think you ever wanted to see that, Dennis. But yeah, that was just... Oh my God. That was actually fucking insane. And then another time, actually, me and Dennis um, were called to go into the bathroom because an old man did not make it to the toilet in time. He shat all over the floor, shat all over the toilet seat, shat all over uh, the stall, um, the walls of the stall, and he shat all just all over the place, okay? Now, this one is a little bit of, you know, r Dennis raging because uh, I remember I was holding the bag and as Dennis is cleaning, I, for some reason, you know, once he gets done wiping down some shit, he starts coming towards me with the poopy toilet paper and I start pulling away for some reason, even though I, I'm like, I'm used to the idea of having to do this. For some reason, I got grossed out more than usual and um, I start pulling away and Dennis goes, stop moving the bag for fuck's sake. And I'm like, well, my bad, my bad. I, I was just, I, I was for some reason more grossed out more than usual i don't know why it was just so fucking crazy um it was just so bad because he literally sprayed and prayed his butthole all over the fucking uh the toilet and shit all over the fucking stall it was insane another incident as well this was all by myself um this was really really shitty um incident uh i think it was like a tuesday or i think it was like a fucking tuesday or a wednesday and I, no, it was definitely a Tuesday because I think the other two were there and Dennis was no longer there. Uh, no longer, um, no, not no longer there, but he wasn't there that day. It was his day off. On a Tuesday, this time, goes back to the women's restroom. Uh, there was a lady, old ass lady as well. Same thing happened. She didn't make it to the restroom. No, she did make it to the restroom. However, we don't know how this happened. She either fucking toppled over or she fucking... Just didn't make it on time. I my bet though was that she would she toppled over from the toilet because everything made it to the toilet. However, it still made it all over the toilet and some of it in the toilet, some of it underneath the goodie box. Which the goodie box, if you don't know, uh, within the women's restroom is basically tampons and all sorts of shit that goes in there. That's women's hygiene. Uh, for some reason, I mean, obviously people steal. There was like price tags and this and that of like clothing. And it was just insane. There was just so much shit in that goodie box. Um, that is just, Oh my God. It was, it was crazy. Some of those smelled really, really bad too. But this lady, she shat below the fucking underneath the fucking goodie box underneath the toilet on top of the toilet in the toilet behind the toilet on the toilet's controls to flush it down and uh, all over the walls of the stall and what else um all over the floor i mean she just got it everywhere dude she literally sprayed and prayed this was another sprayed and prayed situation like she fucking went all over the fucking thing dude it was insane back to vest and old red now old red was starting to become a problem that leads on to 
my um, leaving from maintenance. Old Red ended up becoming less and less reliable on doing the bathrooms, okay? And Vest, who trained all of us, was getting really, really pissed off about that. Now, at this point, this is an issue that Dennis notices, and this is an issue that I notice as well. However, Dennis isn't here to witness the fucking, you know, the situation that escalates between Old Vest and Old, uh, no, Vest and Old Red. Dennis ends up going to a factory job, which I didn't blame him because maintenance was gross and the other place was paying a lot more. So he leaves, and I'm stuck with these two old heads that just can't stop fucking fighting. Four months, Vest has been telling Old Red uh, that, hey man, what's going on? You're not doing properly. You're not doing the bathrooms properly. No toilet paper is being replaced. The goodie bags and the goodie box are not being replaced. Um, you're not replacing or you're not wiping down the mirrors properly. This and that. Like, what the fuck is going on, right? So then Old Red kind of snaps back like, no, I'm doing it, man. I'm, I'm doing everything, you know. I'm cleaning the shit or, you know. I'm licking the floors and this and that, you know. I'm, I'm doing it all, man. What you talking about? Old Red just keeps lying off of his ass. Like, he just keeps lying his ass off dude it's so bad because every time he does the bathroom or does the bathroom we walk in there after he's done it already and we just see that it's still as bad as it was before like it's the same shit it's no no different like there's you see the wiping stains but he doesn't get you know the whole fucking mirror um you can see like uh some of the the sink still being nasty a little bit the floor not really properly clean. You see some smudges from the fucking, you know, uh, the steps of everybody that walked through there. It, it's not done properly. And then one day, finally, this is before I finally piece the fuck out of maintenance. One day, me and Vest get told to go clean the back of the property of Walmart, okay? So basically the backyard of Walmart. So we go out there, you know, we're kind of pissed off about it. However, we're like, okay, Old Red, hopefully we'll do the fucking bathrooms, okay? Now, this backyard project took about maybe four or five hours, okay? And the reason why was because they wanted the whole backyard of Walmart clean, okay? They wanted the whole backyard. Now, the other reason why it took so long is because it was to show the higher-ups that were coming to the store. Like, we're talking like corporate motherfuckers. We're going to be coming to the store and checking out the whole property, make sure it was clean, make sure the whole store was clean, and this and that. So while we're doing this, we're hoping that Old Red is fucking, you know, doing his job and cleaning the bathrooms, okay? Now, this took place um, in November, I think it was, I think. Um, yeah, it took place in November, maybe like uh, sometime in October. I can't remember exactly. But sometime around then, you know, my six months, I'm just like waiting. And this is a, a problem that's been booming up because... Uh, the reason why I say this, so why I mentioned about the months is because for months, four months, Vest has been complaining over and over again. Vest complains a lot and it gets fucking annoying. And he had a catchphrase every time. Every time I walked into fucking work and I saw him, he would always say, we got a lot to do today. And I'm like, bro, we don't. We literally don't because it was four of us in maintenance. And that's all you fucking need is four people to take care of the whole entire store. Okay. You don't need so many people on maintenance to do the job. Uh, again, overall, my experience with this job wasn't too interesting until the very end before I transferred out. Now, Vest is just hoping that this motherfucker does his job, okay? And he keeps complaining over and over again. He keeps talking shit about him to me. And it gets old at this point. Like, I, I'm into drama every once in a while. A little bit. I'm into the tea a little bit. However, this was a little bit too much, especially for a grown-ass man like that. And it was two, like I said, two old heads just clashing over and over again. You know, we've had some competitions with uh, Old Red about this. Vest brought him into the, the maintenance fucking area uh, where all our cleaning supplies was at. And he just tells him off, you know, finally like, hey, dude, you know, you're not doing this and this and this. And I finally, you know, we see that Old Red is not doing his job properly. And I tell Vest, don't bring it up to management because they will not do a fucking thing. Now, keep that in mind. I said this straight up to him. Do not say anything 
to manage me because they won't do a fucking thing. Don't say anything else, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Well, I mean, don't say one fucking word, okay? Okay, Lewis. So, while we're outside cleaning this fucking backyard, that's whenever uh, we decide... Well, no. That's whenever I decide to go after maybe like two hours or so. I think around this time it's like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. I go take my hour lunch break, okay? I come back, okay? And then I go and take over to uh, take care of the trash. And then I come back... And Vest goes. Vest goes to fucking to lunch um, or on break. I can't remember what he did. Um, he goes either to lunch or just a regular 15 minute break. Can't remember. No, he goes to lunch. Never mind. He goes to lunch. I, I remember this now. He goes to lunch and he also sees that Old Red is on lunch. Now, while I was um, still outside and I go to lunch, uh, Vest goes to check on the automotive bathroom to see if Old Red went out at all to do it because we didn't spot him for a good while while we were out there, you know. And you obviously, if you know automotive, the garage doors are open and you can see everything on the inside, obviously. So we don't see Old Red for the longest time. We're thinking, well, where the fuck is he at, you know? Like, where'd he go, you know? So then, Old Red, okay, never shows up to automotive bathroom at all. What so fucking ever, at all. And Vess gets hella pissed and he goes into the bathroom and he sees that the bathroom had not been done at fucking all. What, not once at all. Uh, and we were given this project early in the morning, uh, at least at the beginning of our shift. So, um, But it took us a while because we had to do other things. So then Vest just gets so fucking heated. He starts complaining to the automotive guys. He starts complaining to me. He starts complaining to the fucking front desk lady and this and that. You know, it's like, bro... Please shut the fuck up. You're embarrassing me, bro. Stop. So then Vest goes while on his lunch break. He goes and confronts Old Red in front of a bunch of people in the break room, okay? Old Red is sitting there enjoying his meal. This is how Vest described it to me. He's enjoying his meal and this and that. And Vest goes up to him and goes, Hey, did you go up to the bathrooms and do them at all? Did you do uh, automotive bathroom at all today? Old Red goes, Yeah, I did it. You know, I went out there. It was pretty easy. And Vest responds with, No, you fucking didn't. No, you fucking didn't. I just went out there. It's not done. What are you doing? Why is it not done? We've been out there for hours. Me and Brian have been out there for fucking hours and I have not seen you once. Where the fuck have you been? And he does this in front of everybody. Vest did this shit in front of everybody and I, according to his story, he just sees a bunch of eyes, you know, laid on him and fucking Old Red. I was just so fucking mad at this point that he did that because we had already gotten his attention multiple times he doesn't listen and now that this happened now that i'm back outside vest is back from break then he tells me his plan he tells me hey you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and tell fucking management i'm gonna tell big man i'm gonna tell fat fuck you know what i mean and i was really pissed off when he told me this idea because i knew how it was gonna go and i knew exactly like i said i told you to mark my words about what i said earlier okay then big man comes out and lets us know he was the one who gave us the task in the first place. He also, I do not like this dude, by the way, as well. He comes out, he checks up on us, and he says that we already did everything. You know, we did all of it, okay? Now, finally, Vest tells him about the situation, what happened. You know, he tells him, like, hey, you know, big man, you know, this guy ain't doing his job. You know, I went out to, I was out here and I saw that automotive's bathroom wasn't done. You know, I don't know what he's doing. You know, I just don't want to get blamed for it. Now, that was his issue. He didn't want to get blamed for any of the shit that we did, which I told him, you're not going to get blamed. You know, it, it's all on us. Like, you, you're not going to get blamed for him anything. And just as I predicted, okay, just as I predicted, after he just told big man about this shit, big man says, okay, whatever. It is what it is. And I just, I I was like, oh my God. I, I told this dumb fuck. I told him over and over again, management doesn't give a fuck until they catch you. They don't care. Okay. And this dude just, oh my God. I, I, I could not stress this enough. That was it. That was the fucking, I, I once, okay. Big man tells us, okay, whatever. So what? He leaves. He fucking leaves. Okay. And... I go back to Vest and I tell him, I told you, I fucking told you. Why? What made you think that was going to work? He don't give a fuck. This motherfucker's laying the logs in that shit. He don't give a shit. He don't give a fuck. And Vest goes, yeah, I didn't, 
I didn't really think about that too well. I didn't I didn't think it was going to go like that. I thought he was going to be on our side and this and that. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. This guy is the one laying down the big ass logs. Have you seen the sides? He don't give a shit. He don't give a fuck. Why the fuck would you say anything in the first fucking place? And so that was it because I, I was like, you know what? I had enough. I'm going to transfer out of fucking maintenance. I'm going to OJP. We go back inside. We dump out all the trash that we collected into the fucking garbage disposal. And we go back to the maintenance closet. And he says, I'm going to go take my 15 real quick. And that's when I'm just like, I need to get the fuck out of maintenance now. So then finally, uh, the HR lady, like while I'm in the maintenance closet for a second, just organizing everything. I'm still fucking heated at the fact that this dude fucking told him. Now, the reason why I didn't want management involved is because once you get management involved, they start kind of, you know, sniffing around your ass a little bit. They start kind of like, you know, eyeballing you a little bit more than often, okay? a little bit more than usual. And I just didn't want that attention. I didn't want it. And this dumbass just, just did that. He brought on more attention than what we needed. You know, everything was chill. And then in the, this is why, you know, it gets even worse. So I'm just in there, you know, I see the, you know, HR lady, I tell her, hey, can I talk to you real quick? I want to transfer out because Vest keeps complaining over and over again. I just want out. And she just says, sure, well, you know, just wait until you're six months, which should be in a few weeks. We'll get you out of here. No problem. Okay. Because um, she also agreed with me. She said, yeah, Vest does complain a lot. So I don't blame you for wanting to leave, especially after this incident. I don't blame you even more. So I'm like, thank God. She understands my fucking frustrations because I couldn't take it. I just was like, dude, why would you bring management into this? He, you already know he's not going to fucking do shit. Why would you do it? So then finally that happened. And then a couple weeks go by. And then while Dennis is finally gone. Okay, this was a few months ago that he left. Maybe like two months ago. Wednesday. This was the final straw. This is what I was like, fuck it. I need to leave maintenance now. Because if I don't, fat fuck and... Big man, store leader, fucking, no, store manager, uh, will not get off my dick about shit. Because one day I'm by myself on a Wednesday. Wednesdays aren't busy, okay? Wednesdays are not the worst, okay? So I can handle it. I'm good. I'm Gucci, all right? I'm straight. I can do this shit. I've already done it a few times. Dennis called out a few times. Dennis left two months ago. I'm good. I'm straight. I can do this shit. Maybe even a month and a half ago, I think it was that he left. But then... Night shift, night shift, night shift, night shift maintenance, you fucking bums. I fucking hate you guys. Because they set me up for fucking failure that day. The plastic bale on the other side of the store was not made the night before. So then I'm fucking stuck doing this fucking plastic, you know, bale. And I get a, uh, a fucking, you know, uh, I get walkied and stuff like that. I, I, you know, get called on the walkie like, hey, maintenance, we need you up front of the front bathroom because uh, the bathroom looks like shit. You know, we need you back there and we need you up front. So I'm like, yeah, I'll go in and take care of it in a little bit. I got this plastic ass bale that the fucking night shift didn't do. Now I'm struggling with this plastic bale. I'm trying to get the fucking metal rod in there because that's how you get the wires to, to go ahead and fucking wrap that bitch up. I just can't fucking do it. I'm just so... I just so fucking weak. I couldn't fucking do it. I was getting fucking heated. I was getting fucking heated to the point where a team lead saw me getting heated and he's like, do you need help? And I was like, yes, please fucking send help because I'm fucking tired of this shit. And he sent some help, but I, unfortunately it was somebody who also had a very important job. And so they helped me out real quick. I get the plastic bill done. Um, and then I go finally to do bathrooms. Bathrooms have not been started. I've been so fucking focused on this dumbass plastic bill because fucking night shift if any of you motherfuckers from night shift are watching this you're a bunch of fucking lazy asses lazy asses i don't care if a manager told you to go fucking stock you're in fucking maintenance you do your fucking job you piece of shit you fucking dumb fuck i hate you you fucking goddamn fucker listen fuckhead you have fucking crossed the line get that through your goddamn fucking head Stop your shit. That's how much that plastic bill pissed me off that day. I was so fucking mad. But I finally start bathrooms. My logic is, okay, about the bathrooms. Okay, if the bathrooms in the front are shitty already, okay, then that means people are resorting to the back ones now, okay? So I got to take care of the back ones now because I just know nobody is sticking to the front ones. Now, I get the back ones done. Break room is done. Back bathrooms are done. The family restroom gets done. You know, I finally make my way to the front ones. It wasn't that fucking bad. It was not that bad. I've seen worse. And fucking big boy over there in store manager, motherfucker, you know, they act like fucking, 
someone took a massive shit and dumped it all over the fucking floor. Like, no, it wasn't that way. It was just a few fucking skid marks from the shoes. You know, toilet paper was a little bit all over the place. Not not all over the place. And also dry pieces of toilet paper was just ripped up. And it's just, oh my God, dude. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, they're sensitive. These motherfuckers are sensitive. Like, dude, it's just use the bathroom. It's fine. Look at it, okay? Now, obviously, I cleaned up the bathroom. I get automotive done. I, I just had a really rough start to that day, okay? Everything else was chill. A few weeks fucking later, this is when I said, fuck this shit. I am going to OGP. They both called me in. Big man and store manager motherfucker. They both called me in. And they decide to coach me. Now, I was a little bit terrified because I thought, well, this was a day, I think it was a Friday. They, I thought they finally caught me on the camera talking to these motherfuckers outside, on, uh, pushing carts and shit like that. I, I, I was talking to my buddies. I thought they finally caught me red-handed. I thought, oh, fuck. I'm fucking fired, dude. Like, I'm screwed. And no, lo and behold, they were mad about the Wednesday that I ended up not cleaning the bathrooms as soon as they said to. I was just like, oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. You're going to bitch to me about your bullshit ass bathroom, even though it wasn't that bad. Like, just put the fucking cover on there, bro. You'll be fine. Like, COVID was back in 2020, dude. Like, chill. My yard. Wait, 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 wait. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? So then I get fucking coached and I, I, I bark at them a little bit. Like, I fucking, like... I snap at them a little bit because it's like, bro, I don't know what you expect me to do whenever if front bathroom is fucking shitty, then that means they're resorting to the back bathrooms. Both bathrooms weren't bad that day. They just weren't. And these two motherfuckers decided to coach me. And I'm just like, you know what? That's it. You know, I don't I don't care. I, I just want to get out of maintenance because this is why I told what's his face vest about this. I told him like, bro, as soon as that happened. I knew this was gonna happen. As soon as you told them about the situation, I knew this was gonna happen. So then eventually the day comes, you know, I finally put in my fucking thing to transfer to OGP and Vest gets so fucking mad. Vest gets mad. You know, I, I actually did this like maybe a week and a half before and I didn't tell anybody until the week before I get transferred. Before like, so it was like maybe Friday I let them know and I was going in on Sunday. Like I was starting Sunday. So, and Friday was my first day back from the day off that I have. So, and then I was off again on Saturday. So it pissed off Vest and everybody else was happy for me except for Vest. You know, Vest gets all pissy, big baby motherfucker. You know, he stops talking to me and I was like, what a grown ass man acting like this, bro. What is this? What, like, what are we in the fifth fucking grade? Like, Come on, bro. Like, this is just... Like, you did what you did. That's why I'm fucking leaving, okay? And these motherfuckers coached me. That's why I'm leaving, okay? So, overall, my experience with Walmart, at least maintenance in Walmart, wasn't bad. Until the very end, where this dude just fucking complains, and this other dude, these two other dudes, just bitch to me about their bathrooms, even though they weren't that bad. It's like, oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. I never, never got in trouble for any of the actual shit that should have got me in trouble. To me, that experience at maintenance at Walmart was not the worst. But it's just... Oh my god, management. You're on my dick. Stop, bro. For fuck's sake. But anyways, if you enjoyed the story, stick around for part two. I'll upload that some other time. Gotta get this one edited real quick. If you ever think about working, maintenance at Walmart... It's not the worst thing in the world. It's very chill because I did a lot of sweeping, a lot of, you know, just chilling outside, doing the trash and stuff like that. As long as you do the job, they won't be on your ass. And you're almost like uh, just a regular customer walking around the entire store. Do it. Okay. Don't let any other motherfucker tell you that, you know, it's such a dead end job or this and that. I promise you it's chill. It's good for the moment. You know, if you plan on doing something else, if you really need a job right now, do it, okay? At least my Walmart wasn't that bad, but I don't know about other Walmarts. I can't speak on the other ones. Um, maybe for the other Walmart that's like 15 minutes east of here, maybe that one's a big no-no because there's a lot of crackheads over there. You might see some, you might see some syringes out there, you know, and I don't know. I don't know what you might see out there, but trust me, the one that I worked at wasn't too bad. So if you think about working, you know, maintenance at Walmart, it's not that bad. But anyways, have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Peace.